Cause I own So I got to get my hustle on I own The following reaction has been brought to you by Jason JV Hey yo <laughs> Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV and yes as promised I'm doing a reaction video for the WWE the official WWE 2k22 press conference featuring Rey Mysterio and uh, Yeah, this is a full feature Reveal so let's go ahead and jump right into this thing by liking the hit here go. Good morning everybody and welcome to the moment that we have been waiting for is today we share a major announcement from 2K and WWE regarding WWE 2K22. And it's about damn time too, I'm just saying. Let's go. I am your host, the last professional broadcaster, Sam Roberts. You can catch my work on the Not Sam Wrestling Podcast and of course, the Not Sam YouTube channel. But joining me today, the one and only Byron Saxton, who of course we see live every week on WWE Raw. I appreciate that intro. I feel special now. You're on Raw. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be here. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to have worked with 2K on past and present entries to the series, and I know how much passion and love goes into each game. It's my pleasure to be here honoring this year's cover superstar. <laughs> you know, after taking the time needed and putting in the work to ensure WWE 2K22 is the most impressive entry in the flagship WWE video game franchise to date, 2K is ready to show the work to the world and prove that this time, Byron, it hits different. Dude, you might as well cue in Dolph Ziggler's theme song because he said he was here to show the world. Bruh, let's go. Indeed. Uh, last year, we got our first sneak peek at the top features coming to WWE 2K22, including a redesigned game engine, new controls, stunning graphics, and all new game modes. Now, over the coming weeks, 2K will provide deeper insights into each of these features and game modes ahead of launch. Sound good to me, let's go. Being that this is the year of WWE 2K22's comeback, it's only fitting that for our first announcement today, we introduce a WWE superstar that has staged multiple comebacks of his own, proving his resiliency time and time again. His name is synonymous with the Mexican tradition of Lucha Libre, featuring fast-paced action, mm -hmm. incredible aerial maneuvers, and masked competitors. And he paved the way for many high-flying, agile superstars to follow in his path. In celebration of his 20th anniversary, as a WWE superstar, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. it is. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because Ray joined the roster originally back in 2002. Dang, 20 years ago. Man, time, time really flew by, man. Bruh. It's my distinct honor to introduce <laughs> your <laughs> WWE 2K22 cover superstar, Ray Mysterio. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? In honor of his uh, 20th anniversary, you, you, you should have played his old theme song. You know the Who's that jumping up the sky? R E Y Mysterio. Here we go. Um. Yeah. I, I might have to cut out the music. You know, to prevent copyright. Twelve seconds later. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much Ray man. Mysterio, congrats. Oh man. Thank you. Thank you so much. And how is everyone doing out there, man? Thank you very much for joining us today, man. This is an incredible moment for me, really. You know, to be able to represent the culture of Lucha Libre as a cover superstar of WWE 2K22, it's a moment of great pride, not just for me but for the generations that come after me and for all my people, man, for all the Latinos out there, man, this is a great moment, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be huge. So many stories in your career, right? Because that's what the game is ultimately gonna be all about. Not only just the fact that you're that cover superstar, but sharing your stories through 2K22 and, and showcase mode. With, without a doubt, you know, I'm looking forward to sharing those stories with all of you guys. The behind the scene moments, you know, in my career, 
uh, with a dedicated community of players. I mean, you're going to see some stuff here that you have never seen before. So get ready for this ride. And when we talk about your career, you've won numerous titles all over the world. You've headlined premium live events uh, over the past year, teaming up with your son, Dominic. Yeah. Uh, becoming the first father-son duo to be SmackDown Tag Team Champions here in WWE. Hell I gotta yeah. know, with all your accomplishments and now adding cover superstar to 2K22, how does this compare to, to all your other accolades? Man, I, I think every, uh, every moment or every... Bruh, that, that, man... I don't care what anyone says. That's a beautiful, beautiful cover, man. I should make that my wallpaper on my on my desktop. But I, I kind of got the NWO occupying the desktop right now, so I don't know. We'll see. Every accolade that I had throughout my career has a different meaning, you know. Uh, um, just being able to share the ring with my son, very special moment. A lot of people would ask me, how does that compare to uh, winning the world title? at WrestleMania, like it's just two different moments, man. This moment that I'm living right now with my son, I never thought I was gonna be able to live it. And I'm actually here. And not only that, but we became tag team champions, the first father and son, you know? So uh, this is just, it's been an incredible ride. I've enjoyed every moment that I've had in the ring, you know, from my beginning in 89 up until now, 2022. 1989. That, that <laughs> is unbelievable, especially when you put it in the context. Dang, I didn't know Ray's been wrestling since 1989. Jesus Christ. And I thought The Undertaker had the longest wrestling run. Right, I've enjoyed every moment that I've had in the ring, you know. For well, no, technically Taker did have a longer wrestling run because I believe he started... I'm about to double check this, but I believe Undertaker started in the USWA, then worked his way into WCW, and then to the WWF. I, th I think. I could be wrong. From my beginning in 89 up until now, 2022. 1989. That, that <laughs> is unbelievable, especially when you put it in the context with everything that we've got in 2K22. Of course, this <clears throat> year, WWE 2K22 is set to look feel, play, and hit different when it releases worldwide on March 11th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Bro, you, you can play a drinking game for every time they keep using that tagline, you know what I mean? Hits different, bruh. And Windows PC as well, of course, as PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S. Uh, Ray, when you talk about those moments and, and we talk- Wait, did, did he also say the previous gen consoles? This year, WWE 2K22 is set to look, feel, play, and hit different when it releases worldwide on March 11th for PlayStation 4, okay. Xbox One, yep. and Windows PC, as well, of course, as PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S. Uh, Ray, when you talk about those moments, and, and we talked about the stories and everything, you're not only the cover superstar for 2K22, you're also part of showcase mode, which right. is going to go through all those moments that you were talking about, Byron. Is there any specific moment that you're looking forward to bringing fans on a journey with through the game? Without a doubt. You know, uh, we have the very first WrestleMania moment where it's Eddie versus Rey Mysterio. WrestleMania 21, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Oh, I'll never forget that Mania. That's one of the best Mania matches out there i highly encourage y'all if you're on the peacock network and go to the wwe section you know what i mean and and pull up that match yeah i have wrestlemania 21 on dvd i can just watch that whenever i want let's go that moment right there that's what kicked off you know this feud between eddie guerrero and myself and uh shortly after you know uh i mean i, I don't want to be a dick but i mean i wonder if they're gonna do the um the, the custody ladder match of uh, from uh, SummerSlam, I believe, of that same year, 2005. Eddie left us, um, and there was another special moment that came out of that where I was able to face HBK, you know, in a uh, um, memoric uh, or memorable um, show that we had that night uh, displayed for Eddie's passing. You know, and as hard as that was, um, 
that moment was very special and I knew that Eddie was looking down and enjoying that night along with all of us that were part of that event. But yeah, HBK versus Rey Mysterio, um, Eddie Guerrero, uh, Rey Mysterio, WrestleMania 21. We have Undertaker, Rey Mysterio at the Rumble and uh, you can keep going on and yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. So I want sort of a, a behind the scenes exclusive look here. Give us the intel. like. Walk us through the moment you found out that you were actually going to be the cover superstar for 2K22. Man, it was, it was, uh, it's almost like you're in a ah moment, like, no, really? This is, this is really going to happen? So I, I heard all the hype and, and uh, the work that we were putting in, but it still hadn't hit me yet. And I think it didn't really hit me until just a couple of days that it was getting ready to, to uh, that we were getting ready to make the announcement and release the date. So that's when it really hit. And, um, you know, it was just something that's very special to me because of all the years that I put in this business. Um, a lot of, lot of feedback that I get from the fans saying, Ray, you're one of the favorite superstars that I love to pick when I play you on PlayStation or Xbox or whatever the, their favorite uh, uh, game station might be. So to hear all of that and now to know that I'm part of the cover, like this, this is it. And I think it's a great time for me too, because I really don't know how, much, how many years I have left in this career. So I think that this, this time it was like right on point. This just put the cherry on top of the icing. You know, I, I think part of the connection the fans have with you is that you brought your whole family into wrestling. And we, we feel that connection with you because you, you bring us all in. And I mean, you've talked on Twitter in the past about playing these games with your kids and, and beating them every time. Frustrating to a point because I can never be dumb. You can't. It's all good. Oh. It's all good. So it's when you good. when you play this game though, because we're talking about the whole career of Rey Mysterio, and I mean it, it's such, it, it it's expansive. Are you gonna want to play teaming with your son or fighting for his custody? When it comes to experiences, uh, let's just talk about you. You know, obviously you have a Hall of Fame career that you've created. Uh, as you look at the future. What are some goals you still want to accomplish both in and out of the ring? There's definitely a WrestleMania moment that is, is yet to be seen, you know, next to my son. You know, that's something that if you would have told me a year ago, uh, which is the amount of time that my son has been wrestling, that I was going to be able to share the ring with my son, let alone become tag team champions, the first ever in the history of WWE, I would have said, you're crazy, get out of here. You know, so now, now that things have kind of just flourished and and have manifested, I'm putting this out in the world. You know, I wanna have a WrestleMania moment with my son before uh, I end up hanging up the mask. That would be absolutely incredible. Amazing, yeah. Amazing. Let's, uh, let's not be selfish here, Byron. Let's go ahead and take a few more questions from the press who we have joining us uh, virtually today. Uh, Alistair McGeorge <coughs> of Metro, he asks, the WWE 2K series provides a chance for fans to play out their own dream WWE matches, past and present. What opponents would you like to get into the ring with today and why? Oh, so I've been keeping uh, a close eye on Kevin Owens. Woo. You know, uh, him and I have never clashed on a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it's always been in a four-way. Um, not too long ago with Seth and uh, Finn and myself, you know, but uh, um, Kevin Owens is a guy that I've had my eyes on. Finn Balor is another guy that I would love to go out there and just, you know, comp Yo, Ray and Finn Balor, I can see that being a phenomenal, phenomenal match. Speaking of phenomenal, I would like to see Ray and AJ Styles. <laughs> I think that would be a dope match too. Pete on one on one. You know, I think uh, those two guys are definitely at the top of my list right now. So WWE 2K22 also introduces My Faction, which allows players to create their dream faction of superstar. All right, here we go. Finally, it looks like they're gonna get into the My Faction feature. So let's go ahead and get right back into this thing. In a similar vein of dream booking, matches uh, chance from Daily DDT, or patches chance from Daily DDT, excuse me, asks, which three superstars of the past or present would you choose to join you in the ultimate four-person faction? The tr four-person faction? Did Byron just hit 
just hint at the limitations that the My Faction mode has? I do not like the sound of that. Rebuild the LWR. Wow, yeah, wow. why not? <laughs> why not? That's still uh, in the back of my mind. I would love to rebuild. Hey, rebuild the LWO. Hey, why not, man? Shit. Or I can create an, an updated version of the LWO with me, Ray Ray, put Eddie in there, put Dominic in there. That is, if we can have more than four, I mean, you know, I think I only named four people, but I mean, hey. The LWO, yeah. um, you know, uh, why not put Ray Mysterio and Damien Priest Ooh. side by side, right? I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, Damien Priest, that's right. I forgot Damien Priest, he, he, he Latino too, man, let's go. Hey, you know, I think there'd be a power struggle. <laughs> you think so? I think there'd be a power yeah. struggle. Uh, <laughs> I think it's worth witnessing that power struggle. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> just just to probably say right. it happened. <laughs> Not to mention that my son would get the rub and learn some of that Lucha Libre style, which he uh, really hasn't been training that much of that style because he jumped right into the American style. So that, that would be something to, uh, to definitely enjoy. Yeah, I would like to see uh, Dominic um, expand on his uh, in-ring ability, you know what I mean? Um, only knowing that, that, that American style, yeah. I mean, you don't want him to get lost in a shuffle, you know what I mean, and just being a, another American wrestler. I mean, if you give him some of the, you pass down some of the, 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 those Lucha Libre moves, bruh, bruh, I, I can see, I can see young Dominic going, going far, man, let's go. Um, you know, if I would go back in history and time, um, I think I'm a big Mr. Perfect fan. Ooh. I'm a big Ooh. Macho Man fan. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm a big, uh, uh, believe it or not, it, 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 there was something there that I enjoyed, Bam Bam Bigelow. I love it. You know, I love that. I think those three guys would be my, my pick. Talk about, I mean, he wasn't a little guy, but talk about somebody that could move. Yes. Bam Bam. Yeah. Whew. And I actually had the opportunity to wrestle him in WCW, uh, 96, 97, and I really enjoyed that moment. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hayner of GameSpot. He asks, you've been in a number of games dating back to WCW. What's it like? Speaking of WCW, I'm thinking and if they if this game has universe mode, I would love to resurrect WCW. Put that in my universe mode, you know what I mean? I mean, I know past games, I'm guilty of doing this too, but uh, a lot of people have incorporated AEW in their, in their schedules to compete with WWE and the WWE 2K games. Like I said, I, I'm no stranger to that. I've, I've done it too. But being that AEW is going to have its own game, yeah, I would like to, again, um, re-establish re re uh, WCW. That way I can use all the WCW titles that they always have in the games. Like now, as a legend, realizing people might be able to not only play as you, but also as your son, Dominic. And who should have the better stats in the game? Oh, you are Come on, <laughs> you, should, you should not even ask that question. Of course, <laughs> for real, that's kind of a, that's kind of a rude question, man. Brother, you know. Um, I saw you dump him over the top rope hey, on Monday. See, that's, that, <laughs> that's what he gets if he doesn't pay attention, and that's gonna happen at the Rumble if he doesn't look out for himself. Um, uh, you know, uh, I'm, first off, I, I think it's it's really cool to be able to to enjoy this game. Uh, with my son now. Now it's not him as a little kid saying, Daddy, um, I'm playing you on, on the new uh, uh, 2K game. Now it's Pops, it's me and you, you know, let's team up and try to take some fools down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we would team up, definitely. Uh, thinking of more dream matches, Mike Johnson of PW Insider would like to know what dream tag team match would you like to see players have uh, you and Dominic wrestle in WWE 2K22? Um, so I, I would definitely love to see uh, Garza and, and Carrillo face Dom and, and Ray just because of... Bro, go back in time like you did earlier with the Legends. I would like to see Dominic and Ray take on like Heart Foundation, The Rockers, you know what I'm saying? Demolition, Legion of Doom, or uh, the Road Warriors, you know what I'm saying, bro? That clash of, of style, uh, you know, that Lucha Libre. So I think that would be incredible. Um, man, I'm a big fan of Ricochet. Yeah. So I would love to see Ricochet team up with whoever 
and uh, face Dom and myself. You know, uh, definitely uh, some high flying action there. And I, I know a lot of fans uh, have picked me in the past because of how exciting the moves can get in the game. So uh, I think that's that's a very cool. Um, unique moment that uh, fans can get to enjoy. They can't be Rey Mysterio in the ring, but they can be Rey Mysterio inside the PlayStation or Xbox or whatever their uh, game mode is. Uh, jo Joseph Moore of Gaming Nexus asks, if your 20th anniversary in WWE, it, it's your 20th anniversary in WWE, and you're a clear first ballot Hall of Famer, who will eventually induct you into the WWE Hall of Fame? Wow. Um, I've, I've had so many people to thank uh, for my journey, you know, and the fans being a big priority um, because without them, I would not be where I'm at now. But I, I you know, I definitely see, uh, um, you know, either my son or, or or just my family in general, my wife, my daughter, and my son. I mean, they've all been uh, part of WWE from day one. And I think that would be a very special moment, you know. Uh, They've uh, they've hung with me till this day from the very first day. So uh, you know I owe them a lot for putting up with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you probably owe it to your wife after that custody <laughs> and briefcase match. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, your wife uh, Angie does know how to wield a kendo stick. We oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> very very proficient in that all realm. You, all you have to do is just push her just a little bit. The first one was kind of soft. Like no, harder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, Lawrence uh, Maladondo of Screen Rant uh, says, when going through the process of filming the interview footage for the showcase mode, did you ever look back at any moments in your career in a different light? Um, not really. I think th that those uh, that type of question you kind of it needed needs to be asked in the moment uh, as you're going through stuff. But uh, man, it, it, there's just been so many moments. In my career, I think I would, I would uh, need to have like a one-on-one -on -one session or just an open session and have fans ask me about certain moments. That way, they just trigger back in my mind, you know. Um, but like I said, every moment has been very, very special, and, and uh, I've enjoyed every single one of them. It's amazing. Uh, still focusing on your longevity, the very tall Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful notes that you've been in video games all the way back to WCW versus NWO World Tour. How has your participation in the games evolved since 1997? Are you Yo, WCW NWO World Tour, classic game. And I, and I do have that in my collection along with Revenge. Are you impressed by how much more realistic the graphics and animations to depict you have become? Oh, 1,000%. Uh, I'm truly impressed. Now, uh, um, I don't play as much as I should play, um, although all my teachings, uh, and I have to say that my teacher is Dominic when we come down and, and sometimes we travel with our, with our PlayStation because that is our, our choice. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll sit down in, in uh, the hotel and just play each other, but he teaches me a lot of how the process works and how to get into certain modes. But overall, like I've seen the evolution of gaming and it has been incredible. I mean, to, to the point where now, you know. Yeah, unless you're, you're a kid that was born in, in the 80s or hell, even the 90s, you have not truly experienced the evolution of video games. You know what I'm saying? Those of you who were born in the early 2000s, mid 2000s, I don't know what to tell you, man, but until you experience those classic retro games that we used to, we used to enjoy back during the 90s, bruh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Well, um, we're going into a certain mode that you can play or pick certain storylines that you saw throughout a kid, you know, through your childhood, yeah. you know, which I think is amazing. <clears throat> Uh, content creator Smack Talks has a great question here about the all new. Hey, shout out to Smack Talks. I follow him. My GM mode coming to do uh, 2K22, where players can take over as general manager of Raw or SmackDown. When you get a chance to play the mode, which show will you choose to run, and who will be your first draft pick? Wow. Um, I think my first draft pick 
would be Brock Lesnar. Smart choice. Uh, oh, just overall, he's been overpowering and, and leaves and comes back whenever he wants and does whatever he wants because he is Brock Lesnar, right? So there's nothing we can do about that. And even if we wanted to, we probably couldn't. No. You know what it's like. So, so, you know yeah. what it's like. Yes, yes. <laughs> Love it. We're coming up on time here, but one more question from the press. Uh, Bernard. Okay. Um, oh boy, I said that they're coming up on time here. I mean, you still got about like less than three minutes and or less than two minutes rather <clears throat> and so far I have not this this press conference to be honest is a complete letdown it says full feature reveal they haven't really touched on anything deeper than what we already know I mean they they barely touched the touched on the whole my faction deal and I feel like Byron kind of spoiled it for us when he said four faction, four, four member faction. You know what I mean? So what? In the my faction, we can only have up to four, four people in the group. You know what I mean? I, I find that very disappointing if that's true. And again, I, I I can only hope and pray that universe mode is in the game, because at least in, through universe mode, when you make a faction you can have up to five members, bruh. And then, uh, look, I'll, I'll, do re do, I'll do respect to Ray Ray. Don't get me wrong. I love Ray Ray. You know what I mean? Obviously, you know, I'm wearing the LWO shirt. You know what I'm saying? Because I love Ray Ray. I've been following him ever since, you know, I first uh, was watching him in WCW. But it seems like all this is right here is just... It's all about Ray Ray here. I mean, I, I given yes, he is the cover star because he's the showcase in this year's game. But still, it's like a lot of the stuff they address, it could have been cut down. Like there was a lot of filler in this press conference. But let's go ahead and finish it out, and I'll give my overall final thoughts. Hard Colas of Lay Ten Sports <clears throat> asks, uh, "We know you love soccer, and you've already met the players from." Uh, Real Madrid and Manchester United. Which soccer player would you create in WWE 2K22 Creation Suite to face against in the ring? Wow. Um, that would definitely have to be between Messi and Ronaldo. And if I had to pick one or the other, I would probably go with Ronaldo just because uh, Messi looks like he's more of a chill, laid-back dude. Ronaldo feels he's more like you know, yeah, I'll jump in there, and he'll get in the ring and, and try something new. So I would definitely pick Ronaldo. Well, we thank, we thank you, all of you, for joining today's announcement. We thank Ray for thank being a part of it and say congratulations uh, to Ray once again. Announcement, bruh, this was supposed to be a full feature reveal. You guys didn't really reveal much. Again, I'm being this year's cover superstar for WWE 2K22. Yes, absolutely. Congratulations, Ray. And thank you to everyone on the line for attending and to our viewers at home as well. And as a reminder, WWE 2K22 launches this coming March 11th. So head over to WWE.2K.com or follow WWE Games on social media for all the latest updates and your pre-order information. Thank you guys, thank you everyone. I look forward to having everyone experience my 2K showcase this March. So check it out. Okay guys, so again, I, I don't mean no, no disrespect to Ray. Like I said, Ray, he's one, one of my all time favorites. You know what I mean? He's obviously, he's, he, he's a Latino, just like I'm a Latino. Um, so yeah, you know what I mean? And, and, and I'm proud of the fact that Ray, it is confirmed that Ray is on the cover and everything. Um, my, my frustrations though with this full feature reveal, as it says in the title, it says right there in the title, full feature reveal, they didn't really get all that deep into these features, you know what I mean? With the My Rise, with the with the uh, my faction you know what i mean or you know with the uh, what else is there the, the the my gm it's like 
They basically just confirmed and, and said all the same things and, or gave all the same pieces of information that we already knew. It, it didn't really do a whole lot. I mean, this press conference sh- should have been should have been uh, retitled because I feel like this is the, the title is misleading. It says full feature reveal. It should have been been, been called Ray Mysterio 2K Showcase. Uh, or something along those lines. Something that has to do with Rey Mysterio's uh, 2K Showcase. Because it seems like that's what they focused on more than anything. Especially with the whole, like, oh, you know, you what what, what kind of matches can we expect? And obviously Ray kind of said, oh, well, you know, there's some matches in WCW you, you can expect. You know, uh, my rivalry with Eddie and WWE back in 2005 and whatnot, you know, and... I feel like he kind of gave away a match with him and Bam Bam Bigelow. I think Bam Bam Bigelow will be in the game. So, you know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm looking into this wrong. Because it says full feature reveal. But, I mean, it, it still should, should, have, should have said something about, like, in regards to Rey Mysterio's showcase. Because I felt like that's what they focused on more than anything. I thought they were going to go deeper into, like, uh, what you can do in the... In the GM mode, in the GM mode, all they pretty much said was what we already knew. Like you can run, you know, in any show from like Raw, SmackDown. Um, they didn't say NXT or NXT UK, so I don't know if if we're gonna have control over the the NXT shows. I mean, I guess we'll we'll find out again uh, once we get the game. Um, but yeah, I I just, I just feel like. There was a lot that could have been addressed that they didn't address. You know what I mean? They, I, I kind of felt like this whole thing was, they basically blue balled us on this on this whole deal. You know what I mean? On this press conference, uh, yeah. But I mean, I do appreciate that they at least confirmed that yes, Rey Mysterio is a showcase, and and therefore he's the cover star. I do appreciate that we got that confirmation. I mean, even though we already got that with the with the trailer um but yeah i don't know i just kind of feel like this whole thing was, was a bit misleading as far as the full feature reveal it should have just said ray mysterio's uh 2k showcase uh 2k showcase reveal or something i don't know because it seemed like they focus on that more than anything else so yeah anyway that's just my thoughts guys uh let me know how y'all feel I mean, I'm still looking very much forward to the game. Like I said, I already put in my pre-order for the NWO for Life Edition for both the PS4 and the Xbox One. Um, and so, yeah, and I don't know. Maybe I'll put my gamer tag. Uh, my gamer tag is the same for both systems. So maybe I'll throw my gamer tag in the, in the description down below. If you guys are interested in uh, getting down on some WWE 2K22 with your boy, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. So, uh, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to just put it there and then nobody really... Nobody really, really does anything with it. You know what I mean? Um, we, we, I will be doing some gameplay stuff. We will be looking at the My Rise uh, for both the female and the male uh, My Player. I'll probably do the female My Rise first, and then we'll do the male My Rise after. Because I mean, every game up to this point, I mean, we, it's always you know the the male My Rise. I think it gets. I mean, the male uh, season career mode, whatever you want to call it. It you know what I mean that's always been a given and we always see that story play out um i want to see the female story mode you know see how the female uh career mode plays out first before we get into the male one you know what i mean so yeah i think we'll, we'll do that and then uh we'll take a look at some of the other features once the uh, my rise story is done for both my for, for both my players you know what i'm saying so yeah look forward to that guys um I need to get the uh, the Algato uh, reconnected and everything. Um, make sure that, that that's firing up. Make sure it's it's working properly, or if I'm gonna have to um, possibly get get a replacement Elgato. But anyway, till then, it's your boy Jason JV saying that if y'all are with this reaction video, and again, apologies for the lackluster the lackluster response, and again for the jump cuts. But it was only because I I wanted to see if they were really gonna take. Take a deep dive into these features to let us know like all the aspects of these features that we can do, you know, and um, if there was more information about these features that 
I don't know. To me, I felt like was 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 lacking. But anyway, y'all know the deal. If you're with this reaction, y'all know to do that thumbs up down below. You know to do that comment section down below. I look forward to checking out y'all's feedback as I always do. And uh, yeah, it's your boy Jason JV. See until the next one. Y'all have a blessed one. All right, peace. The preceding reaction has been brought to you by Jason JV.